All right, so today I'll be showing how to install an SSD and maybe upgrade the RAM in a Lenovo IdeaPad 330. First, let's flip over the laptop. And using a Phillips head screwdriver, we can start removing all the screws on the back case. First up is this one that will release the optical drive. Now, using something like a stiff plastic guitar pick, we can start scoring along the palm rest, releasing the plastic clips without damaging the case material. And first thing we should do is disconnect the battery from the motherboard right here, just by pulling gently on these cables and going this way. It looks like it might help to remove the battery first. Looks like a fairly standard budget style motherboard. Here we have one available DIMM slot for RAM expansion and four gigabytes of RAM is soldered to the motherboard here. Looks like they used SK Hynix chips. Here's the heat pipe for the CPU. I'll remove this and do some servicing in a moment and clean up the case fan. Here's a M.2 Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth card. Intel Wireless AC 3165 to be exact. And over here is the hard drive that we'll be replacing with the SSD. First up, let's remove the heat sink and get to cleaning up the CPU and adding new thermal paste. Now I should note that I think eight gigabytes of RAM will be okay for this customer because they're just doing general stuff. Looks like the SSD installs a toolless experience. We just need to gently lift up and disconnect from the motherboard static connection here. And then simply remove the drive from the caddy. Nice and simple, let's do a quick power on to make sure everything's recognized. Now powering on and pressing F2 should allow you to get into BIOS. And we can see here that the TimeTech SATA SSD is recognized as well as the RAM. And there's our i3-8130U CPU. And because we have that 8th generation Intel CPU, we'll be installing Windows 11 today. So what I'll do is power off and get this thing put back together and start the Windows install. Windows 11 Pro is up and running. I'll consider this job complete. Let me know if you're using a IdeaPad 330 in 2024. Otherwise, this is me signing off and hopefully this video helped you out. Let me know in the comments below. Have a great day.